welcome to the official launch of the Asus ePad Transformer. So the first thing you notice is the, basically the pad detaches from the keyboard. 10.1 uh, inch screen, very integral to processor, and as it docks into the keyboard, you're going to have a device which is more kind of entering data and typing. It's one of the um, honeycomb operating system. Again, as you can see, very familiar interface, very user friendly, very intuitive. And you then use different icons to access content on the screen. For example, here we have movies. So it will handle full 1080p video playback. And again, via mini HDMI out, it can then be connected to an external display as well. So, say, for instance, which plasma or projector. And what's the output to the screen? We've got it at 720p. Will it be going to 1080 at some point? Uh, we believe so, yes. Again, two webcams. So, in the front, we have a 1.2 megapixel camera, and on the rear, we have a 5 megapixel. So, the front. So, I, I do this for things like video conferencing, Skyping. Quick press the button. In the back, we can then use that for taking photographs or video capture. And what can it capture up to currently? In terms of the... Is it 720 HD? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I know it's, it's fine, I'm not sure the exact specification of the... Okay. Uh, I'll have to find that out. Please. Again, this allows you to, under the... Um, the wave share experience, you can access content. That's just, there's no Wi Fi here at the moment, but if there was, you could then use that to connect to your um, your content that's saved on, on the cloud. So you might have your music, your galleries, or other content that you can then either access or stream. And we'll see if you get it access, you can then collect, connect to uh, the Google Market. So here you can click through, obviously rotate, rotate as well. This has um, obviously Wi-Fi built in, and it goes on sale next Wednesday at 379 via a number of retailers, including Dixon's, Comet, Carphone Warehouse, um, and the 3G version will follow in about two months' time. Uh, what memory is on board this device? This is a 16 gig solid state hard drive. Um, so the battery life is about nine and a half or up to nine and a half hours. And the keyboard dock has a second battery built in. So it extends the battery to a total of 16 hours. Also the keyboard has additional ports. So it has USB. And here. And again, USB on this side. And this is a 40, the 40, so USB here and a 40, um, 40 pin connector here. So that you can still then charge, um, this is for charging the device connection to the wall power, the, the, the socket for, connect, uh, for charging. Uh, but when it's undocked, you can then have a, it's the same connector here, so if you're taking this on the go, you can still connect this to your laptop or charge independently. Again, it's um, uh, thanks to GPS, you can uh, tether your 3G enabled smartphone or with the 3G option, use it um, for sat nav. Again, here obviously, it's picked the Wi Fi earlier on, so recognize from Leicester Square and it's raining outside. Can you tell us about this screensaver as well? Sorry, the screensaver that you have there. Um, basically, the Honeycomb allows you to basically configure the, the front end so you can, you can basically make customizations. And what applications will be on board? You'll be able to. We'll download additional applications via the Google Marketplace. So the applications that we install at the start will be a basic set of um, commonly used ones. So here, so for example, we've got Angry Birds installed. Um, press Reader, which allows you to basically read um, 
uh, like e-newspapers. Sorry, and it's due out again and the cost? Um, it'll be released, well the plans go on sale next Wednesday, 6th of April, and the 16 gig version, Wi-Fi will be 379, with the keyboard dock, 429, and the 32 gig version, had only be 429. And those are the three SKUs that we're launching first of all. Excellent, thank you.